Greetings everyone, this is a quick video to introduce you to the interface for Echo 360 so that you can get the most out of it. So once you go to a particular class meeting, so um, that would take you say from this listing of all of our class meetings on the course, you just click on the one for the day that you want and it takes you to our current class meeting. So from um, this screen, there are of course the normal buttons. So down here in the bottom left hand corner, there's play, reverse, fast forward. Um, there's also a slider bar so you can move to any point in the uh, presentation that you would like. Over here there's some other buttons for certain things that are available. Um, the settings button for example will let you change the uh, quality in case your playback is your internet speed is is not so great. You might want to change the quality. Um, you can also change the playback speed to uh, different speeds if you wanted to slow it down or speed it up. So that's all kind of normal stuff so you can go to wherever you would like in the presentation and then just hit play. There's also, you can pause the button. Um, you'll notice that there are two screens here. Uh, this screen would correspond to another image that's being captured. So when I'm being filmed in uh, the lecture hall, this is where you would see a camera view of me. If you click on this screen, it will switch these two images. So you can have the larger screen over here. Um, yeah, and so you can switch back and forth between those. Right now, this screen over here also has the slide deck uh, uploaded. So you can use these buttons right here on the left and right to click through the slides if you'd like to see the PowerPoint slides in any order or go back to one that I've already moved from. So you can do that. Um, up here at the top, there's some buttons that let you do important things. So up here at the top, this button right here on the top section, but on the left hand side, this will show you the discussion. So if you click on that, this will bring up the discussion and it will show you any questions that people have asked. And also you notice, for example, right here that there's a question that's been asked and there's a response. So that response is from me and you can click on that, but you can also respond to this question. Like for example, if you didn't get what was said or you were confused about the question or you had the same question, then you can click on the back button that takes you back to the questions. If you'd like to ask a new question, you can just cl click on the new question. You can also sort the questions in different ways by newest or oldest, and you click the X to close the question discussion menu. The next button up here on the right lets you pose a new question. So that's just a way to send a question to me. You can click on this button if you wanted to reference the class content, like a particular slide or a particular video. You can select the video at say eight minutes and 49 seconds, or you can move this slider to wherever you want and it will cue that video. So that tells me, for example, you had a question about that particular place or that particular slide if you had a particular slide question. Um, you can also click this button right here if you want to post anonymously. So then it won't identify who you are when you post that question. So um, if you'd rather not have people know who you are, that's fine. Um, oh, by the way, if you post anonymously, it's still possible for me as instructor to know who posted what. It just won't show up to everybody else. So uh, that's how that works. Yeah, so if I click on this question, it does identify the person. I'll, I'll have this blocked out on the uh, video, but it does indicate who posted the, uh, the thing. So anyway, we'll X out of that. Um, then this flag right here, as you're watching the video, if at any point you feel confused, uh, just click this flag and it's kind of a flag that will indicate to me as the instructor, hey, this is a place where people were feeling like this was kind of murky. And if a lot of people are hitting that button at about the same time, I know to go back and re-explain something for you guys. So that's a good way to interact with the slides as you're going. So it's kind of like, hey, what, you know, this is the WTF button. Feel free to click on that anytime you're feeling a bit confused or murky. And I can go back and try and hit that for you. Of course, a better way is to ask a very direct question about, I didn't understand what was going on here. And then I can go back and answer that specific question. Uh, let's see other things. There's a volume button here, so you can adjust that up and down as needed. And I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions using the interface, just let me know. And again, you can click on the course name or this button right here that will take you back to the class list to uh, go back and see all the classes. And so you can watch any of the classes um, in any particular order. So including those ones that we've already passed. So good luck using Echo 360 and let me know if you have any questions.